Good morning, everyone. It's Dana here. Time for your daily tarot for today, December the 15th. Remember, this is a general reading for all signs. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever planet you might be watching for. And remember to watch all of those signs as well because they do give a, a whole picture of what you could be dealing with. Or some days your sun sign might resonate more than your moon sign and other days might be the vice, vice versa, you know? So, yeah. Make sure you, um, you're checking out those other signs. Also, if you enjoy this type of content and you haven't done so already, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe, follow, like, share, leave me a comment below. I love hearing from you, and I do respond to those comments. Oh, and if you don't know how to find your moon or your rising sign or any of the other planets that are in your birth chart, check out the link in my description. I have a video where I can show you how to take take you through it step by step show you how to find those signs and it doesn't cost you anything so it's a freebie and um you should check that out okay so let's see let's get this started let's get this rolling start with aries message for aries for today december the 15th please we have the king of sword dealing with an air sign aquarius libra gemini someone's being sneaky <clears throat> and stressed out. Got the Nine of Swords. And the Three of Wands. Okay, so stop overthinking whatever decision you need to make. Because you're making it too complicated. You're making it more complicated than what it needs to be, Aries. Stop trying to be in control of everything. I know that's what you do. You do it, right? Underlying energy is your energy, Queen of Wands, which is what I'm getting at here. You yourself are getting your own way. Aries, stop. It's like, stop overthinking whatever conversation you need to have with this person or the situation. Stop over, over analyzing it, overthinking it. Just go with the flow. And don't be in such control. Get out of your own way. Aries, I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. So Taurus. Message for Taurus for today, December 15th, please. <clears throat> Ten of disc. Big money, Taurus. Big money. The death card could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you could have Scorpio in your chart. It's a major ending. Then we have the Knave of Disc. So, dealing with an Earth sign such as yourself, but young or immature, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's also just communication about money. Then we have the underlying energy is the Empress. So, it could be dealing with a mother figure in your life. For some of you, there is a major ending that is happening in your life that is bringing in some abundance. So this could be like a, a lawsuit ending that you're getting a your reward for. You're getting not your reward, but your your payout, your your victor over it. You know, your I can't think of what's the other word that's called for it, but you're getting your your payout. Um, you're getting your winnings. And this could be bringing upon some conversations that are very mm, not so welcomed about money. I, I feel like for some of you, you're needing to have a conversation with someone and you're not wanting to because you don't feel like they're at your level. Like, you don't feel like you should stoop to their level, which you don't. You don't need to stoop to their level, but you need to have this conversation, whatever it might be about. Now, this could be just that you, this person isn't at your level intellectually, or they, you feel like they aren't, and you're like, how do I get this person to understand my point of view? Just tell them how you feel. Hey, Taurus, I hope the message makes sense. I hope that helps, and thank you for watching. Gemini, message for Gemini for today, December 15th, please.
five of wands being around other people you got the three of cups so some celebrations it's friday you go on party you know, gemini having a some type of get together and then the six of disc so expect the unexpected underlying energy is the hermit dealing with a possible virgo or you could have virgo in your chart I get you having some type of conversation with someone about a get together and this is something that you do every year like this is not something new for you right so why does it feel so uncomfortable for you like I feel you needing to have a few drinks before dealing with this situation Having a few drinks before going to the party so that you can feel okay with going to the party. What is that about, Gemini? Needing to have some type of comfort before going to the party. I don't know who that message is for, but that's what I'm getting here. Expect the unexpected. So there could be something you're kind of like... You're dreading with this party. You're dreading with this celebration, this get together, and you're like, you're overthinking it. So don't stress it so much because it's not going to be what you're expecting it to be. I hope that makes sense for you, Gemini. I hope the message helps. And of course, thank you for watching. Cancer. Message. Oh, that incense is getting to me, y'all. A message for Cancer for today, December 15th, please. For Cancer. The Nine of Disc. Abundance. Prosperity. Getting some money in, right? Eight of Disc. So you've been working on it, right? You've been putting those hours in. Oh, magician, cancer, manifesting it. So, has it been actual physical work, cancer? Has it been physical labor or is it, has it been mental labor? Underlying energy, the Queen of Cups, your energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So, I kind of feel like this is more about you manifesting your, your things, right? Manifesting what you're wanting, manifesting your stuff, right? beautiful here cancer beautiful so the money is there and you've realized is there and now you're just like okay let, let's let it flow let's let it flow let's open up the gates for the law of attraction to bring in what i am manifesting it's all about being grateful in the moment staying grateful throughout your day not I don't know, just not being, don't focus so much on what you're manifesting. Focus on what you, how you feel at the moment. Focus on how you want to feel and bring that energy in and just live in that energy. Okay, Cancer, I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Leo, message for Leo for today, December the 15th, please. Five of Wands, being around people, conversations. Ten of Discs, so about money, big money. King of Cups, dealing with the water sign as possible, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or you could have that in your chart underlying energy is the two of swords so some type of decision that you've kind of been on the crossroads about not really sure whether or not you want to make this decision maybe you've been delaying it in some sort it could be to do with money i, I just feel like there is something that's involving other people that is bringing in big bucks um also get you know trusting your intuition 
is going to be very strong for you today, Leo, with whatever you're doing. It's, it's about your money. Trust your intuition with your money. Leo, I hope that makes sense. Yeah, I, I, I get this whole download, like getting some type of information today. Leo, I hope that makes sense. I hope that message helps. And thank you for watching. Virgo, message for Virgo for today, December 15th, please. Eight of Swords. Woo. Cut it out swift and quick, right? Four of Cups. Ignoring the situation. And the Hierophant. Dealing with a possible Taurus. So you could have Taurus in your chart. Underlying energy is the Sun. Dealing with a possible Leo. Or you could have Leo in your chart. You, you've started something new. Recent. You cleared it out, right? You cleared out the nonsense. Cleared out the way. So that you can cut the ties with someone. Just taking control over your life. Taking control over your situation. Really tackling something. And it's all because you're not giving something else your attention anymore. So now you've got this whole like. Uh, awakening where you're you're seeing what really needs to get your energy put towards and you're you're flowing with it you're flying with it you're pushing forward and just not letting whatever it is get in your way like you're not gonna let anything get in your way right because you're going to ignore what needs to be ignored it's not serving you so you're you're putting it you know in the back of your head and you're you're not even letting it have any of your attention. And you are slaying whatever else is in your way. So you are pushing forward like the trooper that you are, right? I hope that makes sense. Lib uh, almost said Libra. Virgo. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Libra. Message for Libra for today. December 15th, please. For Libra. The King of Discs. So dealing with an Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you could have Earth in your chart. Ace of Cups. New love is possible. And the Ace of Wands. Who Libra. What are you starting new? Underlying energy is the Knight of Cups. Been doing a little bit too much celebrating, Libra. Mm -hmm. Now, for some of you, this has been a very rocky time. And just know that your hard work is paying off. With these new beginnings that are coming in, the double aces. Double aces here, Libra. That is the new beginnings. It's also you know, trusting your intuition. Trusting yourself to guide you in the right direction. I, I get this whole, you know, just clearing of energy, clearing your mind, clearing your head, clearing your thoughts so that you can move forward. Um, it, it's this just very smooth moving energy. So you put, you're putting work into starting something new you're putting your work into you're putting your energy into a new beginning and it's magnificent right trust that you're being guided trust your your messages that are coming in today okay i hope that makes sense libra i hope that helps and thank you for watching scorpio message for scorpio for today december 15th Ten of Wands flipped out. Oh my goodness, all these cards flipping. And I'm going to take these. Ace of Swords, 
and the Eight of Cups, and the Fool. Ooh, Scorpio. Underlying energy, Knight of Wands. It's been crazy, right? It's been very shooting forward. It's like you haven't had time to think, right? Feeling very clustered. Feeling very just contained. Feeling very heavy. It's like someone's playing some head games with you. Just know that I get you're going to make it through. Don't listen to them. I don't know who that's for, but don't listen to them. They're trying to feed you just garbage. They're trying to keep you from going to do something. They're trying to keep you from going in the direction you're meant to. They're keeping you from being your true self. And you've been carrying their weight. I get this very manipulative energy here. So Scorpio, don't let them keep, don't let them drag you down. And don't listen to them. I don't know. That's like the strongest message I'm getting here is don't listen to them. Scorpio, I hope that message helps. Thank you so much for watching. Sagittarius, message for Sagittarius for today, December 15th, please. Knave of Cups, dealing with a possible water sign, young or immature, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's very emotional communication. You have the temperance. So your card, Sagittarius. I feel like you yourself is starting this. Uh, and I feel like it's, it, it's out of childishness. So you're having a conversation with someone. And you're, you're like, you're gaslighting them. You are, because you know how to push their buttons. You know exactly what you need to say to get them, to get under their skin, right? Could be a sad, um, an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in chart because you do have the star. Um, underlying energy is the king of swords. So heavy air energy, Aquarius, Labor, Gemini. Who are you gaslighting? Who are you trying to get under their skin? Feel like it's gonna work, Saj. It's gonna work. And it's like, don't give up. You will get to the bottom of whatever it is you're you're trying to get to. Like keep up with it. I I feel like there is a it's like you need to take control over the situation. You need to manipulate them because they're, they just don't know what they're doing right now. They don't understand that they're doing something wrong. I don't know who that's for. But I get you needing to use the emotions to get what you're wanting. So whatever that's about for you, Sagittarius, like either someone's dealing with dealing you a completely crappy hand or yeah. Like, I get somebody's dealing somebody a crappy hand. And the way to solve it is by using some kind of, like, emo emotional warfare. Like, that's crazy. Sagittarius, I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. And <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Capricorn, message for Capricorn for today, December 15th, please. Ten of disc. Some big money coming your way, Capricorn. The Knight of Swords. Ooh, I, I feel like this is a, um, it's kind of, you got a roadblock in that uh, money. Five of Cups. So it's something from your past that's blocking you from getting your money. Underlying energy is the Five of Swords. So there's been a victory there. There's been a major victory for you. 
but someone's blocking you from being able to receive what you're needing to receive or what's coming to you. So it's like Capricorn, be careful of who you tell about the rays or about the the win, whatever it is, just be careful who you tell your story to because I, I feel like there's someone that's gonna try to block you from receiving your abundance. For some of you, you just need to take time with, before making any decisions about money that your head's not in the right place to have that conversation or to have that you know, even if it's conversation with yourself it's like you're sitting there thinking th thinking it through writing it down make yourself a list of pros and cons I, I feel like it's a strong situation for you to figure things out before moving forward I don't know it's like slow it down okay I hope that makes sense for you Capricorn I hope that helps and thank you for watching Aquarius message for Aquarius for today December 15th please okay so we have the death card dealing with a possible possible Scorpio um, or you could have Scorpio in your chart there is a I feel like this is a new beginning. I don't feel like this is an ending to a situation. I feel like this is a blocked ending. Like you caught something just in time. And we got a seven of swords. So you're kind of feeling a little bit defensive. And the queen of swords, your energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Communications. Communications being very strong here. Eight of wands. So having conversations with people and you're learning something that if you wouldn't have heard about it could have led you in the wrong direction i i feel like you're making some type of change to the way that you speak to people or something like that for some of you you're kind of overhearing a conversation and you're like whoa i'm glad i heard that because now I know how I need to proceed. Or now I know what I need to do. Yeah, I, I get this. It's like, watch and wait. Watch and wait, Aquarius. Don't make any big decisions. Watch and wait. I hope that makes sense. I hope that helps. And thank you for watching. Pisces. Message for Pisces for today, December 15th, please. Queen of Wands, dealing with a fire sign as possible, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you could have fire in your chart. I feel like you're going at something very intensely. Then we have the Moon, which is your card. It's also the ruler for Cancer, so it could be dealing with a Cancer. I, I feel like this is, uh, something's being, you're revealing something to someone. Ooh, and it could be about the health situation. Yeah, the Four of Swords next. Underlying energy, three of swords. Okay, so something happened in the past three days to three weeks, maybe three months, that's leading you in this direction. Kind of making, you're making those changes, uh, Pisces. Making the changes and revealing things that is not serving you anymore. So you've got to, you, it's like you've got to take control over it, right? So that your health is not taking a toll on it. For some of you, it's about revealing that you're needing a vacation. For some of you, the it's something to do with the moon cycle that you're you're pushing forward, and in that time period, you'll be taking a vacation. But Pisces, I feel like you just need to. It's like you're going at things a little bit too easily. You need to put more effort into it. You need to put more emotion into it. You need to put more passion into it. You're needing to exert yourself a bit more. But 
not so much that you're causing yourself ill. I just feel like there needs to be something more. Something more to what you're dealing with, okay? Don't deal with the situation in the normal. Very easy and very... It's like I, I get somebody... You telling somebody or somebody telling you, you need to be more stern. I, I don't know. Pisces, I hope that message makes sense. I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. I appreciate you, and I will see y'all on Monday. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.